Okay, welcome back to another episode of G-Man Fishing, except for we're not fishing right now. Been a little bit under weather, been a little bit sick. Cats need to leave me alone. Uh, so I haven't been fishing, so instead of doing a fishing video, because the wife's kind of like, you shouldn't be out there because you're sick, we're going to do a, just a little review of some of the stuff i done on, or I got for Christmas. Um, and plus do maybe a little review on the Corrado DC that I got uh, this past year. So we're going to start out with, uh, oh yeah, be sure to click subscribe and like if you like this stuff. Uh, and we'll get back to fishing as soon as possible. We're going to start out with this pan bass and panfish, uh, 12 days of fishmas. Uh, I got this at Christmas time, so I wasn't able to use it before to do the 12 days. Um, of course, I wouldn't have been able to fish 12 days in a row anyway. So, you know, that's how it is. So we're going to open this up. And I've shot this video one time before and had to reshoot it because it was just too dark in here. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. And we're going to start out with the first day and show you what we got. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen these already. So and I think they're all pretty much standard, really the same. We got some little, like, uh... Some kind of little plastic uh, thing, whatever. Uh, we're going to try these out eventually uh, to start out. That's the first day. Um, I've seen several of these on YouTube already. And we got a patter, paddle till uh, with a jig head um, for the second day. Uh, we'll do this video sometime soon. I don't know when. But when I get back to fishing. And then, of course, cold weather conditions call for you to pull out the jigs, which is a nice little thing to use when it's cold. Uh, fish tend to like them low and slow this time of year, especially if you're fishing for the bass. Uh, just to let you guys know, I'm not a, you know, primarily a bass fisherman. I like to fish for all fish. I love them all. Uh, so I'm, you're, you're not just going to see me fishing for bass. And you guys know that already. If you watch the channel, uh, then some, just some plastic worms uh, with the... Uh, cat curly tail. Um, those are good for winter time, low and slow fishing. Uh, when the bass are real slow and lethargic. So, and that's the fourth day. Now we got this beetle spin uh, for the fifth day. These are always nice. Crappies, bluegills, bass. Uh, just a really nice lure for fishing. And then the sixth day is some plastic worm hooks. Always good to have when you're a bass fisherman. Uh, so hopefully y'all are getting a good view of all this stuff I'm showing you guys. And then the seventh day is just some decals. I'm not a big decal guy, but you never know. People like them. Uh, the eighth day is uh, some curly tail grubs. Some black and gray early tails for the ninth or the eighth day then the tenth day's got this little spinner uh end line spinner it looks kind of like a uh rooster tail i should probably take them out of packages so you guys get a better view of them but i'm not going to uh it must be an off brand because it don't have the rooster tail logo on there anywhere so that's the ninth day and then the tenth day is just as a koozie, something you put on your soda pop can, or if you drink beer, you know, that's up to you guys. What you guys decide to drink. Uh, then a uh, lipless crankbait, which is good for yo-yoing this time of year. Uh, you can reel it in fast, slow. A really good bass bait. Um, catch trout on them too. You don't see me use those very often. And then the twelfth day is every bass for Schumann's favorite, which is a spinner bait. Uh, really nice to have when you're a bass fisherman. I like them. Uh, I catch plenty of trout on spinner baits. So spinner baits are more than just bass fishing lures. Then the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna give a big old shout out to a subscriber who got a, got me this new fishing bag. It's a Cast King fishing bag. It's really nice. It's big. It's got a lot of room. Um, it's a really nice product. Uh, nice sturdy. Uh, bag um, plenty of zippers pat uh, things like that uh, so you can put all your uh, boxes in on the bottom there's a divider here 
put all your boxes on the bottom then you can get them from the side when you're out fishing you don't have to to go directly from the top so that's that's a nice little thing to have um, lots of room lots, lots of pockets for bobbers hooks weights fishing line uh, just anything you could use while you're out fishing so I'd like to thank him and his girlfriend for hooking us up with such a nice bag and check out cast kings because they make a really nice bag uh, they do make fishing rods and lures and stuff uh, reels I've never used them but that may be something I do eventually you, you just never know so as far as that goes that's uh what I got from other people uh, for fishing there are some other things I got for fishing but you know I just didn't go over any of all that stuff I just wanted to show you the the gifts that I got from people and uh, you know give them a big old shout out and thank you for for uh, supporting this channel by hooking me up with some fishing gear um, there you go uh, and then next off we're gonna go ahead and go with the the Corrado the DC um, it's a really nice reel uh, I haven't had any problems with it but you know I think it's I don't know if it's worth the money yet because I haven't used it long enough uh, but so far I haven't had any problems with it it casts really nice uh, cuts back on the backlash. The whole DC is the digital control thing that they, they put into these reels to help keep you from backlashing. Um, you can throw really, really light lures on this thing. It, it's it's really shocking on what you can get away with. I know that uh, Shimano's got a uh, another uh, baitcaster that's meant for throwing really light gear so you don't have to go ahead and get a, a spinning outfit anymore. But, you know... You're gonna go with what you prefer, you know. Like me, I prefer the the bay casters, and I go with the. This is the one five one, which the one on the end of the one hundred and fifty one. The one means left-handed. If you go into a store and you you're looking for a left-handed reel, if you add that one to it, then they're gonna look for a left-handed reel for you. If you like left-handed reels, so I got it paired with. A pound P line uh, mono, but I'm thinking about going ahead and pairing it with some braid just to try the braid out on it, see how it casts. From experience, braid just don't cast as well as mono or or uh, or um, fluorocarbon. But I've noticed I've started switching a lot of my stuff to braid, so I may end up doing that just to see how well it casts. So, but other than that, I mean, it's a really great reel. Uh, I'm not going to recommend people going out and spending 250 bucks on a reel. Um, I'm not by any means sponsored by Shimano. I've got a lot of spon uh, a lot of mono gear, but I trust them, and I'm willing to spend a little bit more money to see if I can't get 10, 12, 15, 20 years out of a reel. And then I paired it with the Lightning Rod by Berkeley. Uh, it's a nice medium rod. I like it, especially white fi fishing for whitefish. I found out that it helped me get more hook sets with that light reel or rod. So uh, light rods, something I really need to invest more into. I'd like to have two or three more light rods, but most of my gear I pair up for for steelhead season. And you need that nice medium heavy to heavy action when you got all that extra line to set to hook. Um, and a longer rod definitely comes in handy when you're still head fishing, when you got all that extra line out. So definitely uh, recommend the rod. I definitely recommend the reel, but I'm not going to recommend that you go out and spend it, spend the money on the reel. But if you have the extra money, be my guest. Uh, I don't recommend that anybody spend any thing, buy anything on credit. I'm not going to do that. So if you got an extra two hundred and fifty dollars, you're making good money. It's not interfering you buying groceries and stuff for your family and stuff. Go ahead and buy it. Try it out. If you don't like it, don't buy it again. Uh, but I definitely recommend that reel. Um, I'm a two hundred and one or three hundred and one, which is a bigger reel kind of guy. Uh, that's the only setback that I seen to to buying the one fifty one is it just wasn't as big as the two hundred. 201 and the 301 which is the ones I, I like but hey you never know but until next time this is g-man fishing we'll catch you when we get back to fishing g-man